everyone! In this video, I'm going to go over how to connect doll legs in Amigurumi. This is the best and easiest method of connecting doll legs to make a doll, and it's a very commonly used technique that's often adapted slightly to make bigger or smaller dolls. The way this technique works is that you'll make two legs, but after creating both of them, you'll crochet them together to both connect them and simultaneously form the body. The first step is always to crochet the first leg and then finish it off and weave in the end. So as you can see here, I've finished one leg of my doll. So I'm just going to cut the yarn and weave in the end now. I like to use the invisible finish off to finish off my amigurumi doll leg and that just means that I will thread the yarn insert the needle into the stitch that's two stitches away from my last stitch. So I'm going to skip this one and go into the next one with my needle pointing towards the center of the piece. And then I'll pull the needle out through the stitch that was the last stitch in my round. So this creates a kind of fake stitch right here that gets rid of the jog from finishing off your amigurumi and creates a nice even finish. So then I will just weave in the end by inserting the needle into the next stitch below and then I will just use the tail to stuff the inside of the leg. You can do this with the back of a crochet hook or with a chopstick or a pencil. Alright, so now that I finished off my first leg and weaved in the end, I'm going to make a second leg exactly the same, but this time I'm not going to finish off. So I'll meet you back here with the next leg done. So I've just finished the second leg of my doll, and as you can see, I did not finish off the second leg, and my hook is still attached to the leg that I just finished working. So altogether, you have one leg that you finished off and one leg that you haven't. The next step for this technique is to basically connect the two legs by just attaching or picking up a stitch on the leg that has been finished off. I usually do this by just inserting the hook into a random stitch on the other leg and then working a single crochet stitch. Once you've finished working the single crochet stitch, you have now picked up one stitch on the leg that was finished off earlier. And the next step is just to continue crocheting all around until you get to the last stitch in this round. So this is the last stitch in the leg that I picked up a stitch on and I know it's the last stitch because the next stitch is the one that I picked up on the other side. So you should have 8 stitches or however many um, total that you had previously um, in each round when you're making the leg. So now that we picked up a stitch on the other leg and gone all the way around, the next step is to attach the yarn again back to the um, original leg that you were working off of. So I will identify the next stitch in the round after this one over here. So it's going to be this stitch and then I'm going to yarn over and finish off my single crochet stitch. And just like that I've picked up another stitch going back across and in this way I've connected the legs. So now I'm going to finish the rest of the round on this leg over here and then I will have connected both legs and also set the foundation for the body. This way of connecting the legs basically turns the two legs from two individual circles into one long oval or an ellipse and that is usually a good shape for the body. 
So I've gone all the way around the, um, the leg, and now I'm gonna work the last stitch in the stitch with the stitch marker. Reinsert the stitch marker, and I finished the round where I connected the legs. So if you had eight stitches per round in each leg, that means that for the total uh, of this round that connects both legs, you should have 16, or exactly double. We did not add or subtract any stitches, and we did not skip any stitches in the middle here. However, it does create this nice oval shape, and from here on, you can just keep building the body upwards as if it were one round.